holy busted. Let's talk about a new card that is broken to build around. This is Gigan Cyberclaw Terror, better known as Garuda, Doom of Depths. And we're not going to play his companion side, but what we are going to play uh, and build around is Garuda enters the battlefield. Each player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard, and then we get to pick a creature with even converted mana cost from either graveyard and put that onto, onto the battlefield under our control. That is Boston. Boston, Boston. Now, you will notice one thing. We're not running an Agent of Treachery because that doesn't really trigger with that. Plus, I was sick of seeing the Agent of Treachery Thassa Deep Dwelling combo. We all get what that does. But this combo is absolutely busted as well. We have Charming Prince because it's going to combo with our Kugla, the Titan Ape. We'll get to that in a minute. So Charming Prince is really good also because we can exile another target creature we own and return to the battlefield under our control at the beginning of the next end step. So we would egg, we would exile something like our Gyruda Doom of the Depths, and that would create that trigger um, again and again and again every time we do that. It's just one way we can do it. And also, there's almost a way you don't go infinite, but it's like three or four drops of, uh, of Gigan up in this. You'll see it in, in the gameplay, but it's nutty. Omen of the Sea, just for that little bit of scry and that card draw, very important. We want to make sure we have the right cards on uh, or in our hand and we're ready to play them. How We just got to make sure everything's organized and well thought out. So there's a lot of scry in this build you're going to see. Even Charming Prince, when he first enters, we're probably going to have him scry. You know, And then we can always bounce him with something like Thassa later on in the game. Then we're running Gross Spiral, which is going to help us ramp up. That card draw is great. A lot of card draw in this deck, so we are running Nadir Kraken. Uh, I remember someone saying they wanted me to make a, a, uh, a Kraken build, and I'm like, sure, man. And I heard people saying a lot, they want to see me make a Doom of the Depths build. So I'm combining both of them, killing two birds, one stone, and this deck is fire, I'm telling you. Nadir Kraken, uh, it's that card where anytime we draw a card, um, we get the plus one, plus one counter if we pay the one, and we get a Kraken token. That's a one, one. Pretty legit card. It's a Fury Time Raveler. He's, there's, there's too many reasons why he's good, okay? That's all I'm going to say. We don't even need to discuss him, um, but the card draw is amazing, and uh, you know, denying your opponent to play instances uh, is just awesome, and that we can play our sorceries at instant speed on their turn is just... It's it's a really cool card, man. It's, it's He's just overpowering. Luminous Broodmoth is a great way. Um, when we lose our Gyruda, sometimes we want to just kill our Gyruda. Guess what? As long as we have Mothra out... We're going to be able to bring back our guy Ruta. Now it has flying. Now it's an even now it's an even worse threat. Okay, really cool card. Uh, it goes in great with the build. Shadow the sky just to wipe everything, um, and it's even better when we can wipe on our opponent's turn. You know, we got to fury or something. Really, really disgusting. Maximize our damage there. True Thassa deep dwelling. Now you can do one thing here. This is exactly the deck. This is the exact build to a T that I ran. But what you could do is add one more additional Thassa and take out one Dream Trawler. But this is the way I ran it, and I had extremely good success. Migration Path, um, oh yeah, Thassa Deep Dwelling is that card that we're going to be able to bounce a bunch of stuff. We're going to want to bounce our Garuda, or flicker it, you could say. We're going to flicker our Garuda, so every turn we're getting that crazy ability off. Migration Path, it's cool because it has a two for cycling, so that can create another card draw, which triggers off some of our other stuff. If we don't want it, we don't need any more lands, because there will be a lot of times you don't need any more lands, guess what? We can cycle it and get that card draw. Or we can just go dig and get our two basics and put them on the field. Then we have Kogla the Titan Ape. Fun card, new card. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature control. Another card we could bounce with our Thassa just to maintain control of the match. Keep bouncing it, keep fighting something, you know, every single turn. And also for two return target human creature, uh, or return target human you control to its owner's hand, Kaga gains indestructible until end of turn. That's even better with our Charming Prince there. Really cool. I'm surprised I didn't give Kaga a trample, but what are you going to do, man? Very powerful. And also, um, when he does attack, though, it destroys our artifact or enchantment defending player controls. That can get out of control. The Dream Trawler, because it's annoying. We have a lot of card draw. It perks with that a lot. You're going to see some amazing gameplay here. I don't want to waste too much time um, uh, discussing the entirety of the deck. We're about done talking about it. The land base is very, very essential, and it works really, really well. I uh, highly suggest if you do run this deck, go something like this. Um, we also do have um, the, the, the Gyruda at the end here, four of. I think it's necessary to run four of um, if you really want to see success with this deck. Very, very strong. Two planes, one castle of uh, Vantress, 
if things get crazy, we need to scry to whatever. We got one copy in there. Three islands, three forests, four hallowed fountains, two temple of enlightenments, two temple gardens, two temple of plenties, four breeding pools, two temple of mysteries. I did not build a sideboard. This is for best of one. Uh, but this is a very powerful deck. Check out the gameplay. You guys are really going to enjoy this one. Holy crap. There's an omen of the sea waiting for me somewhere. Scotty Napalm. Dude, you're into some really dangerous things, man. I suggest um, you seek therapy. Maybe some counseling. That can't be your real name. It, maybe it is. Napalm. Hmm. Never know. All right, here we go. Breeding pool hits the battlefield. Omen of the Sizzle. Monizzle. All right, here we go. We'll play that. Migration path. I mean, you know, that could be cool, man. That could be cool. I don't like that we have two temples here. We have no, um, we have no, we have no play. We just sit for an entire freaking turn. But man, we could, um, we sit for a while, actually, if we keep this. We gotta ditch both. Um, God, I really want you, though. Not gonna help us next turn. All right, we gotta get rid of all of it and pray that we get a land. Ah, hooray! We got our hallowed fountain so we can get uh, Tefiri. We can even bounce Omen so we can replay it um, and get more card draw. That's a lot of card draw. Uh, Nader Kraken, though, might wanna come out first. But we could be in counter territory, which could be scary stuff. We, we're gonna need to, okay, we're definitely gonna play it now. We do want to fear hot dogs. We do want to fury to, uh, to do some things here. You know what I'm saying? Um, we'll just bounce this guy. Not gonna bounce our C. No sense in doing that yet. We'll just bounce that for the extra card draw. All right, we did end up with our migration path. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna have to growth spiral, folks. Our opponent had enough of that and just decides to shock it and replay his uh, creature. Oh, I see how you want to play, my friend. Uh, we have a lot of entering the battlefield triggers. Do you know that? Did you know that? Well, that doesn't affect him at all. So that's pretty legit, huh? Okay, we gotta get rid of that. That could be a big problem, my friends. I think we go the migration path route. And let's get, we're gonna need some green. Uh, and we'll get, ah, uh, do we need blue, blue? No, white. Maybe another green, to be honest. Yeah, another green. Both of our greens are gonna hit. Okay, I feel good about this. We can get Dream Trawler already out. That would be a good uh, a good goal there. Lord Raptor. Nice. That's that's pretty cool. It'd be a shame if someone were to board wipe you, you know? Your whole plan would just fizzle for shizzle. D don't ask why I'm doing that. I, I have no... <laughs> you ever wake up and you got like a stupid song in your head or something? That Snoop Dogg song is just in my head. Oh, what do you know? Shatter the sky. Well, everybody has to die, don't they? Yeah, let's not hesitate any longer. Shall we? Shaboop. And then we can grow spiral immediately after. Opponent's going to fable pass. I thought he was going to fable passage and pretend he has a plan here. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, we got grow spiral cooking. Oh, now we fabled passage. Okay. All right. I swear, more times than not, I wake up and there is a song in my head. Like, it's just chilling there, man. There is, like, a song just chilling in my head. Dream Trawler is... We already got one. I think we want to hit our other, uh, our other piece of the pie there. Our other piece of the pie. It's not often you see me playing a deck like this. I really hate bands. I think this is band colors. I just... I don't hate it, but it's just kind of... You know, kind of boring. Our opponent's a little upset with us. He's just not having the best of days, you know? 
we could go with uh, Nadir and play our Super Sonic Queen at the same time. We can also bounce that. Mm. If I bounce that, we give him. He, he will just take her to Fury. I do want to get our big uh, our big play out though. We haven't seen it. Our big play. Where is it? Where is it hiding? Baby Godzilla is is here with us. Opponent. All right, we're not blocking that. We will go with Dream Trawler this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Scotty drops a mountain. Ah, oh, come on, man. Um, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six. Um, I guess it makes sense to do, we do pay one. Just to create a little fun, huh? Temple of Mystery. Come on, come on, come on. Where is it? We're running four of them. Why can't we draw one? Oh my gosh. I guess just to stay in the match, uh, I'll play my Dream Trawler. And then, um, I guess double swing. It's cool with me. Opponent decides to shock our dude. Yeah, that doesn't work with, um, uh, one guy. I just used that so we got like um, a buffer. You know, that's that's really why he's in the deck. Plus, we do draw a decent amount of cards in this deck. That's why we have uh, the Kraken in here. And over time, it just gets, you know, progressively larger and larger. All right, he must have drawn something he really wants. We will, um, I'll just chump block on this guy. I got a feeling he has, uh, yeah. Uh, no, we have something different. Well, I didn't see that coming, huh? How about that? He dealt damage to himself there. What a guy. All right, so that does get through. Well, we did take out his flasher, which is pretty awesome. And we can just bounce this, and it'll reduce everything to shapoops. He got his card draw, and he gives us a scoop. Scotty! Good game, my friend. Molly. Keeper. All right. What do we get rid of here is a good question. Uh, uh, do we want to get rid of our temple? I like you, but you're so far away. It's silly. We'll keep this. Um, okay. Not drawing what we want right now. I, I'm pretty cool with us having a couple of Shadow of the Skies here. I guess we kind of do want Moldratha. Now, why do I keep calling it Moldratha? It's Mothra. I always call it Moldratha. Paradise. All right. Um, we're just going to slowly get to where we need to be, I guess. We'll temple again. That's what we need. We'll keep that on top. Perfect. I mean, grow spiral, double land drops. We can board wipe whatever he drops. And we're, uh, we're doing pretty good. Migration path to really get us somewhere. We might not even need to do Migration Path. We can just cycle it out, but it's great for deck thinning. Two cards out of the deck, pretty good. Uh, we're going to board wipe this guy's entire world, huh? All right, let's uh, let's just have some fun with him. We will uh, pass the turn. Vivian, Vivian, that is a scary card, Vivian. <laughs> it really is pretty scary, actually. Resolve. So we're going to have to go, like, Shatter the Sky and then Mothra over onto Vivian. I call, and I think we do want to discard this. Okay, we got Dream Trawler. But he's not ready yet. Oh, we do have that. Okay. Another Shatter the Sky. 
We can just shatter this guy all friggin' day, huh? Okay. I think we don't want to lose too much damage here, so we will uh, we will shatter this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully a nice little... Oh, that's perfect. Whew, we got the bullet there, huh? Okay. Could always shatter again, but I think... Maybe we... No, we don't want to shatter. Well, we're going to have to... Ugh, that's kind of rough. This card's going to be a problem. If we don't deal with it sooner than later. I think we'll be okay. We'll come really close to being able to take out Vivian. Oh, that has reach now, doesn't it? You gave it reach, my friend? You sure did. Hey, 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 buddy. Probably like, why is he running Mothra with Trawler? I don't get it. Okay. Ooh, another Trawler. Holy smothering tithe, my friends. Um. Ooh, I think we almost want to go another Dream Trawler. Yeah. Gosh, how annoying is that, huh? Tefiri, my ninja. Gives perks, boost, boosts. He'll just jump on that. And if he gets something really big, we could be in trouble, guys. Wow, he let that just go through. What's this guy's deal? What is he planning on doing? I almost got these lands, but I didn't. I'm like, watch these guys left my money. Did you give it reach, bro? Yeah. Could also just bounce this guy. Castle. Oof, oof. Um. Yeah. We will go to Fury. We'll see you later, alligator. Get that card draw. Uh, I guess we can grow spiral here too, just to get really big. Sir, excuse me, sir, we weren't done. All right, no dry run done opening hand yet again, but we'll keep this. We have our charming prince for that big scry. Thassa is not really gonna. I mean, Thassa can keep bouncing our scry, dude. I mean, I'm not really sure it's gonna do too much. We don't need another migration. We could actually use migration to cycle and get another card out. But then, not on that move, no. Do we want Thassa right now? Thassa's not gonna work well with any of this stuff. I guess it's good to tap down a creature. I don't think we really want Thassa right now, but we'll keep her. Okay, we could be up against Flash, or but this should be Flash. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Um, wish we hit our Tefiri right now. No Tefiri. But we do got the old Nader Kraken, which can uh, be pretty good. 18. What do you got, opponent? Is it? All right. Goblin Electro. Bad, sir. Jumpstart. To Fury. Yeah, I'll pay the one. That's fine. I'll get you. Pay two. We'll bounce his Electromancer. Cool, that's something. Alright, opponent's at 13. 
Well, it's cracking, cracking. All right, he does that. He could probably, he's probably gonna hit our Tefiri. No, he hits our Kraken, okay. Temple. It's Temple Tuesdays, guys. I think we go, let's see what we get out of this. Shatter, Shatter's cool. I don't really want it. Let's plus up Tefiri. We could thass it down now, I guess, so we could keep scrying. I doubt he's going to block that. If he does, that's fine. Okay, I didn't think he was going to. So now we just bounce um, home slice here. And then we get a scry all over. Um, don't need either of these. Those can both go to the bottom. All right, so we're fil we're going through our deck at a decent pace here. We're filtering through it. It's real a possibility. Okay, drawing some cards. We did ditch um our big plan though. Well, well not big plan. We ditched our uh, where is it? What's it called? I think that destroys stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Um, the board the board sweep. What did he just do? Finale of Promise? Did he mess that up? Yeah, he messed that up. I don't think I don't think it works that way. You can't just do it that way. Sorry, I don't think you can at least. All right, well there you go. Um, still waiting to see Garunda. Well, let's play you tap. Starts out with a ley line. That's uh, that's pretty ugly. We do finally have our uh, Garunda, Gigan Cyberclaw Terror. About time. It's about blaming time. Right into the growth spiral. We'll just wait. Play it like a true professional would. Make him think we have a counter. He doesn't care if we have a counter or not. Another Gyronda. What's well, cracking? Um, yeah, I guess we go with Supersonic Queen there. All right, need uh, two more lands. That stinks. We didn't really get um, our islands cooking here. I'm surprised by that, but we're all excited for Mr. Gigantosaur here. I'm pumped. It's my first time I'll be able to use him right now. Been like four straight matches. We won all the matches, but we're um we haven't been able to cast Gigantosaur here, dude. I don't like that. That's pretty good. You got that. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, that was pretty cute, huh? That was pretty cute. That was really cute. I mean, I guess we could just bounce that. There you go. How about a little bouncy whoop ba doop boop 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 doop? Cool story, bro. Um I think then we just hit our friend over here in the head. And uh play this tapped. Now if we hit a land, we're doing great. We are doing great if we hit that land for Geigen. For Geigen Cyberclaw. Terra. Okay, please top deck a land. I mean, worst comes to worst, we got Charmer, but or we can play a Kraken. Ha top deck the land and the one we want, Ted. Bump bump. Cyberclaw. And if you kill him, bad things will happen to you. Ooh, nothing good out of that. We just got a Paradise Druid. That's stupid. <laughs> All right. Um. We. <laughs> It's okay, we can use Charming Prince. You know, that's why Charming Prince is in the deck too. He can come down and just make that happen all over again. Oh man, that was too funny. <laughs> Sweet pool, man. We could we could have got his end raise forerunners, but he might only be running like one copy of that, so. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. We definitely will swing in first with uh, our, our Gigan. Or Gigan? Is, is that how I'm saying that right? Gigan? 
You guys, is it Gig? Uh, someone pronounced that. Gigan? Gigan? Gigan. Gigan. My name is Gigan. Get it right, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll play our little land here. Uh, plusing you up. I've done hero things. Um, we will double swing in here. That is a uh, skedaddle doodle. And then we're just going to drop, we're going to play our, our prince here and bounce. Boom, boom. All right, we get in for three. Pretty cool. Uh, opponent will appreciate this. Bink. Um, let's play. I mean, we could double down on that. We could go two Gigans. Two Gigans? No, let's just play our, uh, our Nader. Nader Kraken. Boom! Hits again. Give me something big. Ooh, I saw some fun. Oh, that wasn't it. I saw the wrong card. Opponent, you're really giving us a bunch of crap. Like, you couldn't do any better than that? Unbelievable. I mean, it's been real, it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. I mean, I was hoping to do some bigger things. My first, my first uh, outing was Gaigen! Gaigen Cyberclaw Terror! I don't know what that was, but it happened. I'm tempted just to blast out another one. Like, we'll swing in and then do another one. Or I could even minus three for Charming Prince, bounce that. Or we could just recast it all again. Man, this deck is very, very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. Luka, Luka, Luka. Upa, Lupa, Uka. Luka, Upa. Upa, Upa. Adupa, Upa, Rumpa, Rumpa, Upa. Luka, Upa. Comes down with another Raise Boar. He's going to want to uh, definitely take that out the game. That's pretty tough stuff. My friend. I think we just... Do we just double block on him? I don't care to lose him. Um, we'll just double block on you. And then... Uh, I guess... Uh, do you have Trample also? Yeah. I don't care that you die. Honestly. Honestly, my friend, it does not matter. I think I just do something like that. Are you attacking also? Nobody knows. Yeah, I'll just absorb some of that pain there. I like that with Luca, you just end raise forerunners. It's pretty cool. It is powerful, without a doubt. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those triggers. That's why we run Mothra. Hello, friend. Did you give us anything? Nothing. I am, am, am not believing what is happening. Unbelievable. Um, do we have a win count here? Can we just win it? No, all right. Nope, not yet. All right. If we minus, we could, um, I can't believe he didn't hit anything good. Um, he's got that stupid forerunner again. We got six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I guess. <sighs> Doesn't matter what we bounce. We'll just bounce you. Probably should have bounced Incubation Druid. Would have been a better option. Hey! How you doing, friend? Uh, no. We do help. One, two, three, four, five, six. And decline. We do got Dream Trawler, which is dreamy. But man. We really need to hit something big here. I 
we got to take out home slice here. That trample rose through on that. I think we'll put everything at you. Do you have trample? No trample. There, make sure you die. Let me play Dream Trawler, be alright. At least we will have a lot of damage on Nissa. He just let them all die. Okay, that's cool. Very interesting. Yikes, do we play Dream Trawler here? Yeah, why not? I guess he can, yeah, he's got it with the Forerunner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. Man, Cyberclaw had such a good target with this, but we couldn't hit it. That's upsetting. Very, very upsetting there. <laughs> Another cyber claw. Um, I guess we auto pay. And then we are going to swing on in. Skadink. Uh, yeah, we need to absorb some of that blow. I guess we do it like that. Down to eight. Play Cyber Boy. Give me something good, man. Um... I'll keep you, because then when he dies, yeah, then we get the trigger all over again. Dumb. Dumb. Um, yeah, this time we'll keep you. Okay, there we go. We can run with you, or we go with Dream Trawler. Decisions, decisions. I guess we'll just go with end raise. Sup. Sup, bro. Finally, that worked out. <laughs> we also had Trawler we could have got uh, up up and running. But yeah, that Mothra, as you see with Geig, uh, Geig in there, that was pretty nasty. We got it to, to go through twice. Haru! <laughs> What's he gonna do? Whoops, sorry, I forgot to unpause. Um, there was a, a dead spot there, but he cast, um, me summoned up in Nissa, and he got all this going here. Another end raise. Holy smothering tithe, man. Holy smothering tithe. I'm okay to lose this. Wow, he did not do anything. Oh man, is he done for? Oh my gosh, guys. I'll pay the one. Hey, we just got Thassa. He didn't even know we had Thassa, but man, I mean, we could have won with the flying alone. 
But what a powerful build, man. Stupid good. All right, we are going to do a little rank. We'll keep that. We shall keep that. Uh, temple for sure. Fitting. Ape, you are so far away from being casted. We cannot, cannot keep you on top. Actually, it's really not that far, but it kind of is. Uh, let's play you, and uh, we'll pass the turn. Okay, we're not going to do anything. We might as well do something. Uh, get Temple out. You're fun, but, I mean, we don't need you yet. That's kind of the, the, the problem. We really don't need Nyssa just yet. She's not going to do us any good if we throw her on the field right now. So I'm going to put her on the bottom. Trawler. Right into that migration, baby. Let's grab up um, an island. And uh, I guess just to make sure if we do get our other dude out, we got to grab another forest. If we get uh, the ape out, we got to make sure we have the forest. Clothis, my dude. That took a while for you to get out, though, my friend. Not good. Um, we could go Kraken. And Tefiri. Kraken and Tefiri, what do you guys think? Kraken and Tefiri, sure. And we'll bounce his uh, Clothis here. And we'll also get that trigger from you. We will auto pay that. Buzz out Clothis again. We got our Kraken. Gigantosaur! Um, we could actually pay that to create the one. We'll auto pay. Drop our island. Gigantosaur! Whatever. I call him Gigantus. Or, ooh, we got Mothra. We got Mothra. We got a Ma Ooh, we got a Dream Trawler also. I kind of want Mothra, though. No? Yeah. Because of uh, this right here. Plus up. Don't mess around with me, bro. Ooh, I like what he's... I like what I see here. Hey, this is like my deck from yesterday. This is a good deck, but he definitely didn't hit any ramp or anything. He got kind of shut down here. There's nothing like smacking the crap out of the deck I just built. Godzilla! This is uh, probably not a good matchup for the Godzilla deck, I gotta admit. Auto pay. Um, oof. Plus one. Yeah, opponent? I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Island goes bye-byes. Um, we... We will swing in with you, and with you, and with you. Wait, with you, and with you, and with you. Hey, as you swing in with you, let's just swing on in, into swing it town. Uh, Dream Trawler will be cool. Now he, remember, he just took out Geigen over here. So Geigen comes back, that triggers, oh man. Uh, what do we got in mind? Charming Prince. Wow, we got kind of crapped out on that one. I guess we go another Geigen. Geigen! <laughs> we will keep, um, we'll keep you. We'll get that trigger from Mothra. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> oh, that was too much fun, man. That was too much fun. What a, what a way to get back into rank, to, to go straight into playing, um, <laughs> the tech I built yesterday, but man, he really did get shafted with uh, his draw there. It didn't look too hot. You know, he came out the bat really sluggish, but, uh, nonetheless, wow, that was fun. All right. Second rank match. I'm a little nervous about this. Oh, wow. Not really anymore now. Now that I hit that growth spiral, like, I think things are all good. Things are... Oh, my friend. My friend. Let me get my growth spiral out. We'll 
Well, that's not exactly letting me get my girl. Okay, I guess it is. There you go. Uh, we'll drop Temple Garden. Mm, I think we'll play the Temple here. Breeding, huh? Um, do we need that? Not really. Not really. One, two... Yeah, I, I'll keep it. That, that, I don't care. I'll keep it there. We'll be able to draw into it this turn. I'm not going to be able to get out our, our Gigan just yet. Uh, we'll just bounce his Hawk. Get the card draw. Now we got our Breeding Pool. One turn shy of Gigan. But we can also cycle. Hushbringer, you son of a biscuit. Come over there and smack you. I don't like that. I do not like what I just saw there. Um, I guess we'll enter it tapped. A plus one. We can use that next turn. We'll uh, shatter this guy after whatever he drops here. Don't 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 attack. You don't want to attack. Not yet. Not yet, Matteo. Perfect. There you go. Play a little bird. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know what life's about. No, that's all you want to do? Play the one? Die! I think not. Alright. <laughs> uh, we're going to try to go this. We plus first. Sorry, no counters. Deal with this. The Geigen. The Geigen. We hit nothing. That's is cool. I guess, if you think that's good. All right, boosh, we're back. Oh, it's so busted, man. Uh, my graveyard, uh, we go Mothra, boosh. That is not even fair. This deck is just busted, man. This deck is just busted. How do you stop that? Like, every turn, man, every freaking turn. It's just too. It's it's out of control. It's um. It's not. It's not fair. It's just not fair, guys, that we do this. Um. Let's play a breeding pool. We can actually cycle this, but we'll wait. Um. I guess we'll double swing in. Could have even tapped him down, but that's silly. The opponent looks like he's gonna take it to the face. Um, at that point, we probably should cycle two here. Charming Prince is legit. We will Charming Prince here. Oh, man. Opponent's not going to like this. We're going to exile you, bring you back. Uh, after we, of course, cycle two here. Oh, this is not fun. Not fun at all. Um, yeah, I will uh, have you bounce back, I guess. I should have I should have changed triggers there. That's not what we wanted to have happen there. Can I like go into uh, something else here? All right, I don't something wrong with my I didn't trigger it right. That that's a that was stupid. Whatever I did there was really dumb, but we do get this guy back again. No, nothing. That just goes to show you. Just nothing good came out of that. <laughs> nothing good came out of that. Oh, my God. Okay. I guess he went... I, I, wasn't even, I wasn't even wondering what he was playing, to be honest, but he did go Azorius Flyers, um, which is, has absolutely no chance of winning against this deck. Kogala! We're going to go with you. I think. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point anymore. Okay. Um, I guess we just... Plus up. And then for fun, we'll play you. Kogala! Target up to one creature you don't control. I don't control you. Cool. All right. Now, let's just swing in. Hey, we wanted to have some more fun, man. We want to see how many flyers we can get out. All right, so there it is. Wow, a lot of fun. Really, really good deck. Packs a mean punch. Um, it, it, it works in rank. I, it's probably better than the Gruel deck I did yesterday. Um, 
but I think this is Dak's kind of busted, to be honest. I think the Dak's rather broken. So there you have it, guys. Thanks um, a lot for tuning into this one. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, take a moment and uh, hit that like button. Um, plenty more to come. You know, if you really enjoyed the video, you know, share it with other people. Get other, uh, get your friends into watching Bad Boy Gaming. Loved ones, you know, your girlfriend sitting next to you, you know, um, you know, tell uh, tell a hello, uh, you know, or, or your boyfriend if you're a girl, or or your boyfriend if you're a boyfriend if you're a guy and you and you're into that, or you're a girl and you're into that. No one's judging you. Um, tell them hello, and uh, yeah, Sparky, weird name. Don't know why I have it though. But uh, anything you would change about the deck? I think it works really, really well. I haven't had too many issues. Uh, you could argue maybe running three Thassas would really help out. Maybe dropping one of the Dream Trawlers. But man, Dream Trawler is so good, though. Um, it really, really is. And uh, remember, we're not using it as a companion only because we have Tefiri in the build. It doesn't work that way if you have Tefiri. So there you have it. Uh, and Tefiri is well worth running. So we just don't run it that way. But everything else is pretty interesting. Uh, Kogla's fun. Um, I had to throw it in there because it's a different card. You know, wanted something new to use. And um, yeah, for sure, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, yeah, we'll see ya. Let's just get to you. Uh, <laughs>